Okay, we're at the, the Nerf guns, remember? <laughs> Look how excited he was. Yay! Uh, and who is this tackling the big old tackle dummy? You silly. But he told me to. So oh, there was it. his big cake. Look at that cake. That makes me that. hungry for some cake. I love that. I like one of my favorite part about the cake. Yeah. Nerf darts. The Nerf darts that were really made out of frosting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Who is this beautiful little girl? Me. Yeah. You're all dressed up there. And there you're hiding behind a mask. What are you doing behind a mask? I got scared of the mask. Don't be scared. Oh, here we are. What are we doing here? Well, that looks like you're in your in your classroom. Yeah. Oh, and this was the Daddy do Daddy's Donuts with Daddy Day. You were in that beautiful dress. Hey, there's Grandma and Grandpa. Those were all really fun things that we got to do, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sid, we're making a video. What? Yeah. You better welcome them. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to and Miss Jimmy and special cat, this tiny, tiny guy. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of Sydney and Miss Jenny. We were just sitting here on the porch looking at our family photo book. It is so much fun to look back and see all of the things that we've done. And, and, it, and to see how little Sydney was in these pictures. She doesn't even have long hair in these pictures. And to remember all those great things. Yeah, and to remember all those great things. Exactly, Sydney. We were just remembering and looking at all these pictures and talking about what we were doing in them and all of the people that we were with. Here we're with our nephew, or my nephew, and Sydney's cousin, and he's making Andrew look like a pirate. And here's, here he is, his name is Jacob. Here's Jacob and Sydney, and they're doing the peace sign or victory. This is when we went to an amusement park. That was a lot of fun that day. Yeah. And it was funny because of the show pirates put on. Yeah, that oh that's right. I forgot all about that, Sydney. You're right. And they dove off the high dive and And they act so silly. They did act silly. Uh oh goodness. Look, here's pictures of Woodchip, our dog, and he took he ate a big old chunk out of Andrew's football. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, and here's Andrew hiding behind the couch trying to shoot somebody with the Nerf dart it gun. It was me and Grandma. We were doing a Nerf battle. Oh, looky here. This is when our whole family, Mimi and Papa and Tyler and Liv and Chandra, we all got together. I think that might have been for Easter. Oh, yeah. There's so many great things that we can remember by looking back at all of these pictures. Oh, this is your birthday, Sydney. Your vet birthday party. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. And there's even Uncle Curtis. Our bet, one of our best friends. Yeah. Well, did you know that we can look back? and remember Jesus and learn all about Jesus the same way we look back at our family? Yeah. We can do it by reading the Bible or looking through the Bible. Let's see what we can see in this Bible. Oh, goodness. I can see baby Jesus <gasps> getting born. That is baby Jesus. So we can look at pictures of baby Jesus yeah. and read about Jesus in the Bible and learn that he started out as just a little tiny baby. And an angel told us that he was going to be born. Oh, and what are these guys, Sid? I have no idea. Oh, oh, I know, I know. There's a shepherd. That's a very smart kitten. You're right, kitty kitty. These are shepherds. And the shepherds were some of the first people to tell about Jesus. 
Let's see, what else do we see in here? Oh, look at this picture. This picture is of the disciples. So they became some of Jesus' best friends. There were 12 of them. And they actually helped us put together the Bible. Because when they saw the things that Jesus did and, the, and had different experiences with Jesus, they wrote about them. And when they wrote them down, people collected them and memorized them. And that's how we got the Bible, isn't it? And then we named it the Bible. Yeah, then we named it the Bible. Because we didn't have a name at first. Oh, this is one of my favorite stories to tell, especially to children. What What's happening to Jesus here? He fell asleep on a, in a boat where all the storm's going. Yeah, you're right. On the next page, the storm happens. And when I'm telling it to kids, what do I usually do? You get one of the kids to act like Jesus and then you spray some water. Yeah, I squirt the kids. That's so much fun because the water starts coming all over the boat. And we can remember that that happened because the people on the boat wrote it down. And so that's how we can know about Jesus, isn't it? And then the little boy who shared all his food. Yeah, that's a really important story. The little boy who had a lunch that his mom made him. And he went to Jesus, and then all of the people have food to eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're very thankful for all of the people who wrote things down and helped us. Since we can't actually meet Jesus, that's how we can learn about him. And that we can learn about how much he loves yeah. us. And the how much the best book in the world. How much he cares for us. All month long, we're going to be learning about I Spy. In your packets of different things to do, there's going to be activities that you can I Spy things. Kind of like the game. And today, we can I Spy all about the things that Jesus did because of the people that wrote down the stories and made the Bible. I really like the game I Spy, Sid. Should we play some quick? Yeah. Okay, why don't you start? I spy with my little eyes. A kitten. A kitten. Hmm. Is it in the tree? No. Is it in the flower pot? No. Is it on your lap? Yes. You silly. You found me. You got now, Mama. I spy something green. Grass. Not the grass. Leaves. Not the leaves. Um, the book. Yes, the green on the Bible. Well, we hope you have a great day. We love you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.